Hi everybody, welcome to Do Fundamentals. Uh, this time we're going to talk about a new feature that appeared uh, in version 17. And I'm going to show it in version 17, even though we are already working with Do 18. Uh, I mean, at this point, I already went live with two projects. Um, but anyway, it's interesting to understand that this is a possible from Udo 17 forward because you already have the branches together with alias domains. So uh, the problem here is if you have several websites and you can have B2B website or can have a specific website, but still you have your main server domain where uh, people just use to access uh, the back end of your company and you don't want to send emails from one domain uh, when you're selling through a certain uh, domain, right? And so this is uh, what this feature solves. And let's just dive into it. So I have an instance here. I have created locally free web servers and uh, free email servers. So as you see, the websites I have for the default website will do one, will do two, and then have, have another one which is called shop. Um, they are related with companies and branches. So this one is set to my company, but yeah, let's just switch it over. For example, this would be set to my main company here, and this would be set to the branch one, which is not so important, but as you see right now on the selector, I'll set myself as the main company, which is your company. And here uh, we'll see uh, the configuration here. You have your company has branch one and shop. And then we have created, this is uh, important to create a new alias like this. If you see this one is, Udo one is targeting your company. Udo 2 is branch 1, and then shop is targeting the shop branch. To do this, because this field is not editable, you have to select only the shop branch, then create, and then you set the domain and save. And by default, it will show with this field popped in, uh, selected correctly. So that's the only way to set this field. If you have two selected, it will appear two selected. So you can have a same alias domain for two web shops, for example, that could be the case. Now, um, if we, yeah, if we go back here, let's close this one and this one. So these are the websites we have. And uh, I will just go into the main backend and I'll just create a new quote. I'll uh, select a client and now I'll add some products. And now I'm just going to send an email with a quote for my client and I'll get it on my mail server. Yeah, if I haven't showed you properly, I'll show you the outbound mail servers I have set up. So I have outbound email servers. I think I missed it, right? So these are the outbound mail servers. Udo 1, just for this domain. It has the domain filtering. Udo 2, and then the shop DD local. These are all on my uh, laptop, uh, just for you to understand. The Elias domain, then it's going to make sure one matches the other. That's what it does. So right now I sent the email, I guess, and I'll be getting it here. Uh, and there you go. So sell order 46, uh, your quote is ready for preview. And now I can click, I can sign and pay or sign depending on how I have it set it up. It's working fine. That's the, the, the default way of using this. Um, I can also um, send a message to my client. Uh, Hi there. And if I do this, it's going to use the same, the same domain. Hi there, you see, okay, the same thing. Now let's try the shop. So this is because I, I and it is working like this because when I create a sale order, I'll get a company here 
by default, which is the selected company, my default company. But if let's use an incognito and go into shop.dd local. So if I do this, okay, and I'll go to shop and I'll buy something. And uh, add to cart. Yeah, I also need a share. Proceed checkout. And now I will check out my name. B. Duarte at europega.com. Phone. Uh, well, I think I need the street, street and city and zip code and country, United States here. And I proceed to check out. Okay, nice. So uh, now I can do my payment. This is a demo payment method. And finally, I will get my payment confirmation. And when I get an email, I will see it's coming from shop to the local catch all shop, the one that I have defined there, to my email subject. And then I view the order. If I click here, it's going to shop local. Of course, I'm logged in here, so it's going to show the backend view but if i were a copy link locate copy link yeah and i'll go back to my incognito which is this one when i receive the email i'll get this and this will allow me uh portal access to my sale order all right so that's all i wanted to show you for now uh, as you see, you can do this for several different websites under the same company or in different companies in Odoo because Odoo is multi-company and handles all the complexity. So you can even have different currencies. Uh, and so people will get the correct email from the correct email server. And using branches is really the best way to do it, right? Just another thing. Yeah, just for you to check. So this is... 47 so if i go into my orders sale orders i have to make sure i have shop selected here else i wouldn't see this one it says website where it was received from and you'll see where it says company it will have shop branch that's it 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 is no arm at all it's a branch that is under the same company and it helps to separate concerns that's all for now thank you bye bye